Hi guys, this is Addison from Fort Stewart, and today we're going to talk about news. Um, today is a really special episode because I've got with me a guest speaker. I have with me Mr. Pat Young. He is the editor-in-chief for the Frontline newspaper here, and he's also the chief of command information, and he has been in public affairs for over 20 years. Hi, everybody. Um, so just to get started, guys... Um, we wanted to talk about um, our news page and how it works. So the first thing I want to say is that our news is a page type. Um, now you can't add a, a page type without being the admin. So you will need to talk to Shelby or Neil and tell them, hey, you know, please add the news page type for me. Um, that being said, I, I want you to know that you can put news on any kind of page. I mean, you can put it news on an empty page. It doesn't matter. Um, the reason I made it as a page type it, uh, was to make it easier for Pat to upload news. Um, so when we talk about news, um, you know, we've got our content and then we've got our photos, um, you know, and then we've got all of our metadata for searching and stuff. And I kind of wanted to just make it all one big menu. So that's what we've done here. Um, so if you go to news and you go to add page, uh, what comes up in ours is a new page type. Um, and then when it's done loading, there it goes, um, we've got this really long menu. Um, so, but this way, Pat can add the story, he can add the meta description, he can add everything just in one. And what this <coughs> spits out is this okay um you know the editor the 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 photo um all of this stuff um now also saying guys um before we get started with the composer um i did want to say that uh so we've got the story over here right um we also have more news over here but that is not required um you can change this to anything you like you can have it be the community calendar you can have it be um, I don't know but yeah uh, this is I wanted to let you all know that the uh, the concrete five is an excellent platform to help uh, as a force multiplier for your command information help tell this army story uh, and tell your unit story the combination of a news story along with some other things like bulletins on the right hand side are an excellent excellent combination because one tells you what happened, the other one's telling everybody what's going to happen. So it gets them more involved in the in entire website. Um, I also have, this is just a page list, and I always, with news, I always add the date and when it was updated and that kind of stuff. It just kind of gives a little bit more of a, a urgency and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> real. And it's, and it's really good. It's, but on the news side, uh, when you can have various items on side on your news page in this case we have our community bulletin to tell community members what's happening uh, chaplain's corner the actual newspapers that from the from the previous time in case they missed something and then on the left hand side are the news things which are more or less t the news stories which are teases so once they start clicking on that and they realize that there's more of this type of information inside the newspaper it's just one click away to a uh. pdf Thank you, Pat. Um, and I also want to say, so all of these stories right here, these are pages on our website. Um, but Pat also uploads PDF versions of the newspapers. And these are really popular. Um, a lot of people, even though they read digital news or they're looking at the pages, they're still, you know, wanting PDFs. They still want to read a newspaper like a newspaper. Uh, so I just want to also say that. So don't, don't, uh, don't discount that with the with your news page. It's it's a pretty popular download according to our analytics. Yeah, and a lot of the installations, the, the printed newspapers are no longer cost beneficial. But if you still produce one that looks like a paper, it still gives them a, a feeling of, you know, having that product from your installation. Okay, so let's make a news page. All right, guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna talk about the images. Now you've got two, right? You've got image and you've got thumbnail. Um, the image is what shows up here on the page. And the thumbnail is what shows up here. These are little thumbnails. 
Now they can be the same. Uh, they don't have to be different photos, but if you want to make yourself little thumbnails or icons or something like that, you can do that. Um, but while I upload the image, Pat's got some tips for images for news. Basically, a, a photo is worth a thousand words. That adage is true. Uh, what you want to make sure to do is, is keep it 600 by 400. That makes it easily uh, uploadable from to any search engine and any platform that you may have, including social media. You want to make sure the resolution is approximately 150. But inside the content, you have to make sure that you identify individuals, and um, this goes for the cut lines later on, by their rank, their first and last name, and their unit. Then you have to say what's who, what, when, where is going on inside the, the photo as it's happening. In other words, if Addison Kruver is typing at her computer uh, working on the website, that's present tense. It's not she did. It's she is doing it. It's candid. You also don't want them looking at the camera. You want to make sure it's candid. Get the photo of persons doing their actions. Um, now, Pat, um, the cut line is supposed to have what? What did you say? Who? What? Yeah. When? Right. It's more or less just the same as what's later on going to be in your lead of your story. It's your who, what, when, where and uh, the date of when it happened. So that way you have basically, if they don't want to read the rest of the story, they have at least know what's going on inside the photo. Now guys, also when you, when you name the photo before you upload it to the file manager, the name of the photo should either be the headline, the um, like part of a cut line, or it should have some kind of keywords in it because that also like when someone searches Fort Stewart, I don't know, I think this guy is scuba diving. I think I, I just copied this off the Army uh, website, but, you know, th they're going to want to see this as well. So the name of it should also be, th the file should also be uh, keywords. That's really handy if you're, like, covering a tank range, an M1 Abrams <laughs> firing a round down range. If later on you're looking for stock footage, if you do a search by M1 uh, or M1 firing, you could find it. Okay, so let's talk about the headline. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste a headline right here really quick, guys, from the Army site. Um, but I want to tell you that the headline needs to be heading one. Now, um, Pat did mention one time to me that sometimes he has to remove the formatting or switch it over to normal and then put it as heading one to make sure it actually takes the full thing. But make sure you make the, heading right, the headline right here heading one. Make sure the headline is, uh, like in, when you're doing print, you don't want to have it smaller than 24 or larger than 60, and that's irrelevant here. But you don't want to have more than 10 words, and you want to have a, a blend of unique words as well as common ones. So uh, Addison Kruver types is okay, but Addison Kruver uh, exercises her typing skills is better. Uh, you want to make it more flavorful. Okay, guys, so we've put the headline here. <clears throat> you're honestly, you're going to keep copying and pasting it. So you also want the headline to be your page name, and you also want your headline to be the meta title, okay? Um, and this goes for, um, if, we, if we remember the SEO video, um, this is the meta title, and this is the meta description. So if it's news, you want, like, right there you want the headline there and you want the the lead right here which we're going to get to in a second all right you want to talk about tags pat tags are very help helpful for other people to find your material so whenever you're we have one that we commonly use called rotm rock of the marn so whenever they're whatever browser they're using if they type in rotm it's going to either come up with the third infantry division information or rebecca on the move uh, but <laughs> hopefully if you tag everything w with what's going on, people will find it. Now, news topics are something that, uh, you know, are unique to us. You don't have to have topics. This is, this is totally up to you guys. But if you do want topics, uh, you need to tell Shelby or Neil before they make the page type. But um, I'm going to pretty much skip over this because it's pretty self-explanatory. But you can... You can organize page lists on your news page by topics. So that's why we have this, you know? So um, so let's talk about the story. 
the story you want to make sure that people are reading it so you want to keep it short Mo modern stories are approximately 500 words you got to have at least one subject matter expert identified in it to talk you know explaining what's going on in the story but before all that you'll have a lead and a bridge and each one should be no longer than 30 words and the first one the lead has who what when where and so the bridge will explain the why um, the who what when where when you identify your like Fort Stewart if you name a person as in Kruber make sure you include their their rank their unit and if you're going to use them as a subject matter expert identify what their job is so as in Kruber plumber works on the website well you lose credibility <laughs> so but the the bridge explains the why or what is you know like Fort Stewart Hunter Army Airfield hel holds a town hall meeting February 1st to address housing issues now we jump to the bridge um, they are holding the house uh, the meeting to address concerns from community members regarding uh, housing conditions on the installation the rest of the story is the how what's being addressed and and how uh, you know how things are your subject matter experts are addressing things all right guys so we've copy and pasted the whole story and now i'm going to take the lead which is you know what pat said the the big you know eye catcher or whatever for the story and i'm going to copy and paste it here and also in the meta description um now uh if we remember the meta description is what we see here okay um, and that's what we want our users to see. Um, now, the main reason I had the lead be that is because usually the lead always includes any keywords that the headline didn't, um, and it comes up with any kind of search engine. So it kind of tags it, and it's an easy way for, for Pat to, like, really quickly implement um, uh, stories. Okay. So when we put the author and unit in, tell me how to do it, Pat. Space is... is uh it's it's really uh, important so we have to make sure that you keep it very concise the top byline is usually just straight name not titles and certifications etc the bottom byline is their unit so Fort Stewart Public Affairs don't put all the uh, you know, the Fort Stewart Georgia like that we just want to make sure Fort oh. Stewart Public Affairs okay oh, okay right. Fort Stewart Public Affairs let me move that I know you're disgusting. thanks yeah <laughs> So the top byline needs to be bold. The bottom byline needs to be italics so that people clearly identify, uh, identify the subject, the, the author, as well as the unit. Okay, so just like that, Delineate. Pat? Yeah. Okay, so just to check through all of this, I think, oh, wait, did we make our cut line? Um, make sure you identify the, uh, the photographer there. And it's supposed to be bold and italicized, right? Bold and italics. Sorry, guys. I totally forgot about that part. Okay, so I'm just going to put edit mode right now because I don't want it to, to pop on all of our pages um, because literally all over the website I've got news feeds. So, um, But this is the uh, result of our composer. Now, if Pat doesn't like this, he can go in there and he can change it around. That's no problem at all. Um, he can click and drag everything just like he wants. Yeah. Okay. If you wanted to have your photo up top, which uh, and you're followed by your cut line, then your headline, that's fine. But right now, this platform provides a standardized practice so that all of your pages will look exactly alike. So if you're in a really bad time crunch, you've got a, a standardized format. Yeah, and it's it's. I mean, look at that Insta page, right? <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys. So let me tell you about our uh, our home page. Okay, so I always have um, whatever Pat put on the home, uh, like the what's it, the the cover story, the first page. Cover uh, story, yeah. Um, I always that ha uh, have that be a slider, um, just because I, I want to engage our readers. And then on the left hand side, you can see here we've got a uh, like basically a page list of all of our news. And then here we've got, uh, this is a page list as well. So let me go into edit mode really quick so you guys can just see how this works. Added these items to your website while we're waiting uh, will really draw your readers to your website and thereby also to your phones if you have the app uh, you make, or you make it so that 
this could be easily read on your phones. So you'll increase your unique views uh, in immensely. All right, guys. So um, so that you all you have to do is click and drag a page list and follow these steps. So number of pages to, to display or, you know, how many stories do you want to display? Um, we have it at seven because, you know, it just kind of fit with the page. But you guys, I mean, is this, this is customizable. Um, I have my page type set as news, but you can always just leave it at all, which is the def uh, default. Um, I have a custom topic right here because I only want to show news right here. At the bottom, we've got health news, so that's a different topic for us. Okay, so show all. Um, I, don't ha I, I don't do really featured pages or anything like that because they never really quite work out the way I really want them to. Um, skip the pagination and go to location everywhere because we're pulling the news type. Um, if you wanted to change this or you don't have the page type yet, um, you would click uh, location. You want to show all of the pages underneath uh, another page and then you would click news. Um, I have it sorted as most recent first not most recently modified first. Um, just because sometimes, you know, we have to go in and make a couple of edits or something like that. We don't want it to just jump up to the, the top. You know what I mean? Um, no RSS feed. I do include a page name and then the page description. Um, and this is, this is really important, guys. I like to cap off, like, okay, so truncating the description is basically capping it off. So I cap off our descriptions at 150 characters just because I, I don't want huge paragraphs on my page list. I just want a teaser, you know? Um, and then yes to a thumbnail image because th that's what these are over here. Use a different link than the page name. No, 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 we don't, not, we don't want that. And then if there's nothing to display, I say more news coming soon, okay? I think one of the important things about a news page is making sure you're consistent. Uh, make sure that if you're going to be adding news pages on a regular basis, either weekly, monthly, uh, or bi-monthly, make sure that you do it uh, because your readers are going to be looking for it. And if they every time they go to the same thing and they know that it's only going to be updated so ever so often, uh, they'll lose. They'll they'll become apathetic. Um, I also want to say, guys, that I also put news in the menu because it is so popular. Um, and I mean, literally every week news, one of the news pages is the most viewed page. And then like a particular story will be like the, the most popular landing page. Um, so that's about it for news. Is there anything else you want to add, Pat? No, everybody. Good luck. <laughs> All right, guys. And thanks for your hard work. Pat. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in.